What do you got over here? What is this? Yeah, it's abandoned. There's nothing going on in here. It don't look like. We've got it upstairs, but that's not going to happen. Like, there's no way in hell we'll be able to get up there. Guess we could do our light. That might help. Oh, yeah. It completely caught. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Spur. We're back at it with more Into the Flames gameplay. Also, want to make a quick announcement that you can find Into the Flames on Steam, on sale right now for 30% off. It'll be on sale till April the 4th. If you've been on the fence about getting it, I would definitely jump on it now. So uh, definitely go check it out. It's on sale 30% off at Steam, and uh, we'll see about getting to the gameplay. We are definitely going to be taking this piece of equipment out today. We had a viewer request to take the old style uh, Mac rescue unit out. Uh, this is called the Quack in game. It's, uh, it's kind of loosely based on the Mac and it looks awesome. I love the old school equipment, the old school units. They just, they, they really make me smile. I'm all about the old school stuff. So like I said, we're back on the free roam. We're at station four. We're going to be seeing about taking some calls. I found a few that I'm not familiar with. I know the dev said he's going to be adding some in. I don't know if he's added them in yet, but I have found some that I'm not familiar with. So we're going to hang out and see about, uh, well, I guess we'll force them. We'll force those calls and go to them. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. First call has been forced. This one's kind of interesting and uh, I'll go into it a little bit more in a minute here, but it's going to be, let's see, what is it? Uh, working fire and not so central park. I love that at box 420. Like <laughs> it's awesome. Let's go ahead and hit that uh, units have been assigned exit out of you and exit out of that and we'll jump in engine four and head that way all right let's see we got him go let's get the headlights and the lights and let's get the door open you open the door from the uh, cab by pressing f that will do it so there we go got that taken care of let's hang tight here just a second and let's go to responding by hitting f1 and we'll roll that way now we're good hit the siren yeah, let's see i think we'll just have to uh, make left here uh maybe no we can just go straight okay i see now we can go straight down and then make a left and we should be there yeah it's a park it's a park fire so i'm going to assume A little horn action there. Someone had mentioned something about that the other day. It's a park. So I'm guessing this is maybe a brush fire or something like that. Which reminds me, if you guys don't keep track on the Discord, uh, Spur had a huge brush fire outside of uh, the town we live in uh, the other day. I guess two days ago. It was still burning yesterday. It was 20% contained. It was between 30 and 40,000 acres. Uh, definitely a decent sized fire. Not the largest we've had, but definitely a decent sized fire. Is we have a hydrant around here? Is the only question. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy the other day, guys. I knew the fire was this. It, the fire originated like 20 or 30 miles away. Probably about 20, actually. And, uh, we had winds that were 30 to 40 mile an hour gusting to 60. So that fire started up and it took off and just mind-boggling how much distance it covered in just a matter of a few hours start let's say it started 20 miles away and within like uh two or three hours it was literally like five miles outside of town and you know at one point the fire chief's like everyone needs to water your yard your yards everyone water your yard spray it around your houses so uh i went out and we got a sprinkler system in the front yard got that started and then um worked on the backyard the backyard doesn't have a sprinkler system and it was just as dry as it could be because we don't have much rain here like we've had very little in probably uh five or six months we've had some snow we've had a few sprinkles but nothing like to really amount to anything so it's really incredibly dry here and we have low humidity on top of that so it makes it really kind of dire so went outside uh watered the uh the backyard water the front yard could hear the fire trucks in the distance could see the smoke on the horizon you know and uh yeah I, wildfires freak me out guys they really really just do like even a tornado when the times that we've had tornadoes in the area don't freak me out like um wildfires do they're pretty uh they're pretty crazy 
So anyway, the wildfire got to about five miles outside of town. They told people prepare to evacuate. I had the kids gather some of their stuff up, just, you know, anything uh, they could get that was kind of near and dear to them uh, before we have to leave. And the wind shifted to the east and blew it off to the east, uh, south of town. So, uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was absolutely insane. Uh, how that went down. Not the first one we've had. We've had one uh, probably about uh, four or five years ago. That was uh, 400,000 acres. That was insane how big that one was. It was the same thing. Another day, low humidity, high winds. Winds were gusting to 70 that day. And um, yeah, 400,000 acres. I think it was a high 300s, like 397,000 acres or something like that. At one point, they originally estimated close to half a million then uh, later on, uh, Texas A&M downsized it to uh, four, right at 400,000, I think, because, you know, when it rolls through really fast, like it doesn't, in some instances, it's kind of weird. It burns everywhere, and then some areas it might kind of skip and go around a little bit. It's kind of weird how they uh, do when you see them from the air, but it was downsized. And unfortunately, that fire killed five people. Five people uh, lost their lives in that one. Uh, luckily, this uh, this one we had the other day, uh, no one uh, no one was injured, and they lost several houses though out in the countryside, houses and barns and stuff like that, farm equipment and stuff like that. So uh, that really sucked. But uh, yeah, hats off to the fire department. Those guys did an amazing job, and they were literally out all night uh, working on it. You could hear them off in the distance. You know, for you guys that aren't familiar with like uh, rural firefighting. And probably here in the panhandle, it's even a little different from most. Oh, shoot. We went by the hydrant. We got to go back. You know what? That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do it right here. We'll do it right here, actually. Uh, if you're not familiar with rural firefighting in the panhandle... Uh, oh, there is a hydrant right here. Sweet. Okay. We'll just do that then. Um, a large majority of the equipment we have out here is uh, a surplus military equipment. Like, a large majority of it. Like, we have, uh, I think we have one, like, regular traditional fire truck, and then everything else is surplus military uh, equipment. And it goes for everyone around here. Like, all the, like, I would say probably 70 to 80, maybe 90% of the equipment is ex-military stuff. And those military trucks, I don't, if you're familiar with them, you might kind of know what they talk about. But they always have, like, a real throaty growl to their engine. Like, they sound like this unmistaking what they are. And you could hear them off in the countryside doing their thing. Like, uh, I could hear them in the distance. So, that was, uh, it was crazy. It, it, it really was. It was crazy how that all went down. But So, yeah, an exciting, uh, an exciting couple of days uh, here for us. Man, the traffic's going nuts again. They just, they don't know what to do. They see the uh, emergency equipment and they don't know what to do. All right, let's grab a supply line. Let's go down here and hook up to this guy. And we'll be good. But yeah, hats off to you firefighters. I, I don't say it enough. You guys uh, do an amazing, amazing job. Uh, they did here for sure. Uh, you know, it takes a really uh, kind of, uh, you know, selfless person to, uh, to, you know to do that to do that kind of work to uh, put your life on the line for others and their property and stuff like that and uh, do everything you can to uh, save them you know all right uh, I think we're good here yeah we've got a supply oh yeah we need to get a wrench you get a wrench let's grab a wrench and we'll put it oops wrong one yeah, you know, and the crazy thing is, like, we've had tons and tons of tornadoes where I live, like, all the time. It's all the time. And I've never, I've had to prepare to evacuate more for uh, wildfires than I have tor tornadoes, actually. So, <laughs> it's kind of weird. The fires just really, they're, uh, they're serious business, right? And there's aspects of them, too, that you don't think about, like, uh, you know, you don't need to try to drive through them because they'll literally, uh, that was one of the problems they had with the big one uh, a few years back was that it was choking people's cars out. They were trying to drive through it down the highway. Uh, the smoke was choking their cars out, and, and unfortunately, that's how, like, uh, I think one person uh, perished in the fire because they tried to drive through it, and it choked their car out, and then uh, their car caught on fire, and it was just horrible, so... All right, here we go. We get some water on it here with the deck gun. Spray it down. 
We're uh, we're going to be taking the Mac out in a bit. We'll try to get some kind of a call where we can take him to. There we go. I think we're having a little bit of an effect on it. Let's uh, let's exit out of you. So the uh, the deck gun is still going. It doesn't look like it's really doing anything though. Actually, this uh, we could do better with that. Do better. Uh, there we go. Maybe that'll work for us. All right, now let's hop down and we'll go to the uh, command menu. Yeah, we're just not re I don't think we're just reaching it. Yeah, it doesn't look like we are. You know what? Okay, we'll uh, cancel that. Cancel that out. And uh, we'll do something else here. Alright, let's let's uh, let's get our air on. That's why I noticed uh, the pictures I saw from our fire the other day. Of, of course, uh, what they do here is the guys ride on uh, the trucks. They ride on the front or uh, the sides of them and they spray off of them. And uh, they were wearing air. Like, I saw pictures of a few that were wearing air because it was just so incredibly smoky. Uh, let's go to gear, air pack. And we're good there. All right, let's go over here and let's hit. Uh, actually, no, let's go to, uh, we can't do that yet. Let's go to tab. Emergencies, established command. I always forget that. I always forget that. There's like a routine that you have to get in when you do this. There's a routine. And uh, I'm still figuring that out. I got to get used to doing that. All right, now let's do that. Let's go to end. There we go. Now we're set. All right, we've got two available units. Uh, we can upgrade the box. So well, actually, it does say it's a working fire. So if we upgrade, it's a working alarm. We'll do second alarm for that. I think that'll be okay for now. So we don't have to do entry. We don't have to do a search or anything like that. So we can just put these guys down and uh, let them start doing their thing. All right, let's exit out of that so we can move around a little bit more. And let's put another group of guys. Fire suppression. Let's put them right here. There we go. Nice. All right. They're helping me out. They're doing their thing. I really, I, I kind of want a unit on the other side over there. I think that might be good to have someone on the other side, maybe. Going pretty good over there. Also, I uh, had a viewer leave a comment the other day said, uh, Spur, uh, why don't you do uh, multiplayer? Not complaining, just wondering. Uh, good question. Good question. I'm glad someone asked that. Uh, you know, right now, I, I would love to do multiplayer. I wish I could do it all the time. I wish I could stream, and I wish I could do multiplayer. Like, that's two of the big things that I want to do. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do multiplayer on. Uh, just right now, like, the only time I have to be able to do any kind of multiplayer would be at night after 9 o'clock. And there's been like so many times that I've wanted to do that and uh, nine o'clock would roll around and either something came up and I wasn't able to or I was just completely and totally wiped. Uh, that's the big thing. It's not that I don't want to or anything like that. Uh, it's just really, I just, I don't have the time. For those of you that don't know me that are new to the channel, I am a dad. I've got three girls ages four to 10. Uh, I'm married. Uh, we just, we have just a lot of stuff going on in the house. I do all my videos in the living room. You know, I, I'm, I, I don't have like a special little area that I can go off that's my own that I can do this kind of stuff. So uh, everything that I do is like really dependent on what else is going on in the rest of the house because I just, I absolutely don't want to do a video and uh, have you guys hearing a bunch of stuff going on in the background, uh, you know? So uh, I have to try to do this. Like in the mornings are the best time when I do videos because uh, the kids, you know, my older two daughters are at school and uh, my youngest is here and uh, uh, she does really good playing on her tablet and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, any other time when all my kids are here together, it's a madhouse. So, you know, that that's like the big number one reason, you know, uh, hopefully Hopefully, I'm really hoping, I really want to, uh, we can get into uh, doing some more stuff, but I just, I, I can't right now. Like I said, every time, 
I am like, hey, yeah, let's, uh, I want to do something, you know, let's, uh, let me see about doing something and something always happens to, uh, to, uh, to mess it up or like I said, or I'm just simply just too tired. Like it, it's as simple as that, but, uh, we are working on it. That's like my biggest, uh, goal and plans is like to be able to do that because I think it would be an absolute blast. I would love to do it. I wish I could. I wish I could just get on, uh, every evening and, uh, just do some kind of multiplayer. I really want to do, um, I really want to do some squad multiplayer, you know? I love that game. I just, it's a lot of fun. I'm kind of figuring it out and uh, and stuff like that. So it's purely just a time and a craziness in the house is like the big factors as far as why I don't. All right, which way do we need to go back? Okay, here we go. We'll do this. All right, we need to change this to responding for this guy as well. Hit F1 for that. All right, let's see. Uh, should be... Oh, we went by that hydrant again, damn it. <laughs> oh, they've almost got it out anyway, so it doesn't really even matter. Man, those, uh, those AI dudes are BA. Like, they, uh, <laughs> they don't mess around. Which is really cool. Like, I couldn't tell you how many times I've come in here and, uh, you know, put let the AI do their thing and then, like, go worry about water and stuff like that. There you go. So, they put it out. They did the whole thing on their own. So, nice. All right. Not so central park is under control. We're good here. And, of course, they all go away when the fire is uh, contained and uh, put out. All right. We're probably going to see about getting all our stuff put away and uh, we'll see about taking another call. All right, we're hopping into Mac, the rescue. We've got a call for uh, some hazardous material at an apartment complex. I don't know what but they are doing over there to have a bunch of hazardous material issues at the apartment complex. But uh, either way, we've got to head over there and see about getting this taken care of. Let's go ahead and uh, actually let's hit, uh, we're available. Okay, I've never seen that before. So what we need to do is go to this, hit, Units assigned, exit out of that, exit out of you, and now responding. There we go. Okay, now we're responding. Like I said, it's a routine. It's a routine. You need to get it down just like uh, hooking up to a hydrant, you know, catching a hydrant. I, I'm i pretty down on that. Like, that's pretty cut and dry. You know exactly what you need to do. Uh, but as far as uh, filling out this other stuff, I've got to get uh, a little bit more used to that. All right, here it is. Uh, we can't go in there. And... Uh, there's our barrel right there, but we can't get in that way. So... I guess we'll, I guess we'll stop here, guys. I guess we'll stop here. Alright, let's hop out. And man, I love this truck. I love those Mac units. They look so damn cool. I really, I really, really hope one day we get to see a satellite unit. I think that would be so awesome to uh, to have a satellite unit for like using a big, uh, using it at a big fire or something like that and have the manifolds that you hook up and everything. Like I, I just, I would love that. Maybe one of these days we can dream, right? Like we can hope. Let's go get uh, our hazmat gear on and go to the decon tent and put the tent down right here. You see, it's good to go. It's uh, self-contained water and everything, so that's pretty cool. And we'll run over here and grab up our barrel. I don't know what these people are doing over here, but uh, I guess... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they wound up with hazardous material in the uh, apartment complex, but... Like I said, maybe, uh, maybe Walter White's been over here, you know? Maybe, maybe Walter White's been up to no good. There we go. We got our barrel. So all we got to do is just take it back. This is really cut and dry. No problem at all. It definitely seems like uh, the game is like they're constantly adding things to it and improving upon it and things like that. I've noticed that like the TikToks that I posted 
of it. Uh, I've had a lot of people comment that they're like, wow, this has changed a lot or wow, this looks completely different. I've had multiple people on TikTok say that. So, uh, and even the dev said that, you know, the, the times that I've got to sit down and talk with him, he said that uh, it looked completely different early on. So uh, that's really cool. I, I'm glad to see that, uh, you know, they're, they're supporting the game and uh, evolving it and adding things and stuff like that. I think it's crucial. It's crucial to something like this. Yeah, I, I think uh, a lot of gaming companies are, uh, are learning that uh, a game is a long-term investment. Whereas, like, a good example would be uh, Microsoft Train Simulator. The first one came out in the early 2000s. Like, they released the game. They released one patch, and that was it. They were done. Like, there was nothing else uh, done to the game. Okay, that's good. It's taking this under control. And that was really common for a lot of the games. Like, a lot of the old Microprose Pros games, uh, Sierra, like, they just... You bought the game. You know, they did the game. They released it. You bought it, and that was it. There was nothing else to it. Um, you know, Microsoft Train Simulator, same way. Uh, let's pick you back up and we'll put him in here. And, uh, now you're seeing a lot more games with a lot more, like, long-term investment into them. So, that's cool. I really like that. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to, uh, Decontent. We'll put you away. And, uh, Hazardous Gear. Sweet. All right. That's been taken care of. Uh, we'll see if we can do maybe one more call. That was really, really super fast on that one. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Let's go in quarters. And we'll kill the engine with R and we'll hop out. See what else we can get into. Uh, we had a call come in, but this was for box 210. And I don't want to go way down there. I want to hang out in the city. So let's grab him. And in the current call. There we go. And maybe we can force one. Maybe we could force a call. I know people have asked about that, how you initiate a call. So let's see. We'll pull up the uh, the force call list. This is everything that we could do on the map. Um, Eight Peck Road. Does it seem familiar to me? So let's grab that. Let's see what this looks like. There we go. Uh, Eight Peck Road, fire in the living room. Let's take units, sign, exit out of you. Let's hit in. Oh, we need to exit out of that first before that works. There we go. Uh, hey, okay, I see where that's at. It's that little area over. Okay. Heading towards the airport. All right, let's um. Let's jump out of this and let's jump in a brush truck. We'll take him. All right, let's hit F to open the door, get the headlights, slice. Yeah, I know I've had people ask, that, like, uh, let's do all rescue or stuff like that. To me right now, it's kind of hard to do because I don't know, like, what all the rescue calls are in the in the game right right now, if that makes sense. Um, that's what I need to figure out. I need to figure out or at least have a better idea of what uh, these calls consist of so I can say, hey, yeah, we're going to do nothing but rescue today. We'll do all these calls, and then I know exactly which ones to hit that uh, would take you there. Yeah, I see smoke already, so yeah, we definitely have a working fire. Let's hit F1 to responding. Let's go ahead and get that going. Let's uh, see what it looks like. Woo, she just don't want to steer. Steer. There we go. Yeah, I started licking through the roof. Like, it is way more than a living room fire. Uh, what does our hydrant situation look like? I don't know. Let's go ahead and pull these guys up on scene. And... Oh, it looks like uh, either it's a house that's abandoned or it's under construction, maybe. I don't know. That's pretty cool. All right, let's, um, first of all, let's pull up the map and see what our hydrants look like. Okay, we got one down the street a little bit, so second do will pick that up. Uh, something else I want to do real fast. Let's go to escape. Let's go to host options, and uh, let's freeze the time right here. You go to game time and then hit pause, and it'll freeze it for you. I want to freeze it. Looks like uh, early morning. Let's return to game. Almost, uh, almost did something I would have regretted on that. 
All right, let's hop out and let's get our air and we'll do a 360 real fast. Gear, air pack. Yeah, it is way more than living room fire. Like it is fully involved. Oh, uh, and we got a tank. We got a propane tank in the back. Looks to be abandoned, right? Like I don't see anything electrical or wires or anything like that. Uh, where it looks like maybe the fire's upstairs. I can't. I can't quite tell. Um, let's grab a Halligan. Real fast. Now, I guess when you do vent entry search, do you do you try to go for the room that's on fire, right? Like that's what that's what we would do. Ah, uh, smoke. Yeah, we're getting smoke. Let's. It looks like it's gonna be upstairs. Uh, let's hop in the window here. And let's get. Yeah, it looks like it's upstairs. So I'm guessing maybe we should have done that upstairs, but I mean, it, it's hard to say because sometimes you just don't know. What do you got over here? What is this? Yeah, it's abandoned. There's nothing going on in here. It don't look like. We've got an upstairs, but that's not going to happen. Like, there's no way in hell we'll be able to get up there. I guess we could do our light. That might help. Oh, yeah, he completely caught. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go, 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 dude, go. Get out. Go, 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 go. No, he's down. He's stuck. Oh, man, he got stuck mid, <laughs> mid vault. No. Uh, yeah, and we, like, there's no one here to help us either. We're pretty much screwed on that. That went south really fast. Like, that, we were fine. Um, let's go squad. Let's do, uh, gosh, I don't know. I don't know at this point. Um, uh, let's do the tiller ladder because those would be the RIT guys, right? The ladder guys, uh, does an engine, does an engine ever do RIT or is it purely like a uh, ladder? I guess it would, uh, uh, it would depend because like the town I live in, we don't, I mean, we do have a ladder. It's a quint, but, uh, it's not like a dedicated kind of deal, if that makes sense. All right, we got to go. Oh, crap. This dude's going to die. He's going to die. That sucks. Like, I was trying my best to get out of there, and it just wasn't going to happen. Damn, that went south really fast. Like, we were good until we weren't. Like, there was no in-between. I had no idea or clue that... Uh, that was going to happen. Man, this thing is a beast. It would it would help to be able to steer the rear end too, but... Let's go. Let's go. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything for that guy. I think he's... He's out the window. I mean, technically, we should be able to... Um... Oh, damn. The propane tank's going too. Look at that. Like, this, this is bad. <laughs> This is bad. This went really bad really fast, which I guess is like uh, true life. You know? I mean, it can happen. Man, it is fully involved. Look at that. Oh, turn. She just doesn't want to turn. Man, she is such a pig to turn for certain. All right, let's go. I guess since we swapped to another unit that uh, our guy that was injured went away, maybe? I, I don't know. Um... Let's hop out and let's go to, um, let's go to end. All right, let's hop out. Let's go to emergencies because we didn't even get to establish command when we got there. When we got on scene, we should have done that. I goofed that up. So let's do that. Let's establish command. Let's exit out. Uh, let's exit out of you. Let's go to uh, end. And let's get a RIT team. Oh, damn. We got an explosion. We got an explosion, guys. The uh, propane tank went up. Yes. Upgrade the box uh, to a working alarm. Uh, let's do AI, uh, firefighter rescue team. Let's put these guys down. Um, yes, right here, maybe. 
I don't know if they're going to go into action. I don't know if they're going to swing into action for that or not. Exit back out. That is no bueno. That went bad so fast. Like, I had no idea. So, it says waiting for it to rescue you, but, um... Like, I think it goofed that up because I left and went to another piece of equipment is what I'm going to assume. Yeah, I think that's how that went down. Let's go grab the squad. So, that's probably going to stay up there from for now. I think I, uh, I, think I broke it. I think I broke it. Let's go to fire stations. Um, we got the brush engine. We got the tiller. Let's do. Uh, let's do rescue two. We'll bring him down as well. I guess uh, rescue could have done uh, the rapid intervention team, right? Like they could have definitely done that. I, I don't know how that works. I really don't. Like I've heard of like. Ladders being assigned to uh, RIT as far as like the FDNY, but I don't know like what is uh, the SOP for that as a whole, like across the nation for, for, you know, just the average fire department. Because what the FDNY might do could be completely different than like what they would do here. I don't even know if they have RIT. That, you know, rural fire departments may not even have like a RIT thing because it's a manpower issue, you know? Yeah, it looks like the explosion in the rear part of the house stuffed some of the flames. Damn, that's a tongue twister. All right, so let's get you off and uh, we'll get out and let's go get uh, let's get squad two. Let's go grab him. Our stations four B uh, squad. All right, let's go. Yes, we had a uh, we had a mayday, but I went to a different unit, and I think that's uh, that's definitely goofed that up. I think if I had stayed if I had stayed in character, it would have been fine. But we didn't have like Rit wasn't there, so um, I we had no one to save us. Like literally, we were that was it. We were done at that point. We could have hit enter and just respawned, but uh, I was curious to see if we brought uh, if we brought someone to do the rescue, if they would do it. So, all right, um, let's go in the back part of the house here. Yeah, buddy, you might have to move out of the way, bro. We got official fire business to take care of. There we go. All right, now let's hop out. Yeah, there's no one to save, so that's not going to happen. Are they still out here? Are they still standing by? Yeah, they are. They're waiting. So if I'd gone down after the fact, um, they would have helped. Like, we would have been okay. There we go. Let's uh, do outriggers. And operate ladder. Uh, actually, let's hold off on that for a second. There's really like no point in venting at this point. I will say the roof is compromised. Uh, we could use it for an aerial attack, maybe. We, need, we should have picked up a hydrant without other unit. I wasn't even thinking about that. Let's grab the supply line. We'll just go down there by foot. This is cool. I like this neighborhood with the abandoned houses and stuff. This is really sharp. I hope we uh, we get to see a lot more fires down there. Fires are so important to me. Like, I think it's vital. It's vital that, uh, you know, we keep seeing uh, more and more fires and emergencies and stuff like that um, to respond to. All right, let's uh, connect it. And I didn't bring a wrench. We'll have to get a wrench. All right, there we go. We got our supply established. Let's... Uh, Let's jump on the deck gun. Let's raise it up. Maybe we'll have a little bit more uh, effect with it this time. We didn't have a lot of luck with it on the uh, brush fire, so we'll see. We'll see if this does anything. 
Maybe. We done had another turd floater come up. The bottom's dropped out. It doesn't seem like it's having much effect, does it? Like, uh, I don't know. We're going to go with that. We'll exit. Yeah, it just looks... I don't know, like... It looks like it might be reaching it. It's hard to say. It is. Let's do the ladder now. We'll uh, we'll do an aerial attack on it as well here. Uh, operate ladder. All right, we got to get our supply going to this. It's actually, let's exit out of this. Let's hit our exit out. And let's get this guy's supply line. Uh, where's it at? I can't remember. Where do you hook up to? Is it in the rear? Yes, uh, supply line. And we gotta go this guy's discharge. All right, there we go. We're good with that. And now we can go back to the ladder. Hit E. Uh, operate ladder. And toggle water pipe. There we go. All right, now we got it. Sweet. All right, we've got some water going now. Let's uh, let's hop back down. And I don't know how much effect those are having, but uh, we're gonna go with it anyway. Actually, let's go back because let's see. Let's uh, let's go over here. Actually, we can't. All right, let's change our view and let's go back. Oh yeah, we can't quite reach it. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to pivot around a little bit, maybe. Let's go right there. I think that might be a good spot right there. Yeah, it seems like he got it right. Like it seems like we put it out. I think so. Yeah, I think we're actually doing something here. Uh, yeah, it's still going in the back. Let's go back to the deck gun. Let's hit this window right here if we can. Oh, we're on passenger. No, that's not what we need. There we go. Now we got deck gun. All right. Maybe it's so hard to tell on this, like if we're if we're getting it or not. Maybe. Maybe so, maybe not. Let's go for the roof then. Alright, let's uh let's jump back down. Yeah, I don't know if the deck gun's doing anything or not, really. Alright, let's go back to uh the command. All right, let's go back in on command here and let's go AIA menu. Uh, we've only got one available units. Let's do uh, let's do some fire suppression right here. Actually, let's go on the side, this corner back here. There we go. All right, so we don't have any more available units. We don't. I don't really think we need to upgrade this to a second alarm. It's just a single house. Uh, let's exit out of all this. And I guess we're going to have to stretch an attack line and start hitting it ourselves. Alright, let's grab our attack line. And we'll put you down here with Jay. Go back and get our air. We lost our air tank somehow. Maybe, uh, maybe swapping between equipment did that. I, I don't know. I just, we had it and then we didn't. So I don't know what happened to it. Oh, let's pick it up. There we go. There 
There we go. Now we're making some headway. Let's actually, let's go over here and hit this window too. Nice, nice. I don't even know if you would go into this thing at this point. Like, it was so... It was so involved, right? Like, it just it went bad so quick. I think we're going to try to do as much exterior as we can at this point. I just, I don't know if we're having much effect on it, really. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it. I see some fire in there. Let's hit that. Let's go to first person. Maybe we have a little bit better, yeah, a little bit better idea of what we're doing here. All right, I think that part of the house looks okay. I think we, I think that's out like under control on that side so like it's going in the back there you can see it yeah there we go all right i think we're doing good i think maybe it would be okay to go up on the porch of course we need to wear a mask yeah all right i'm gonna go on inside I don't know how much of this we're going to be able to do from exterior. Looks like it's just the upstairs, right? Yeah, I think it's just the upstairs. Yeah, it's crazy how it took off down here. Like, it, it was fine and then it wasn't. Man. I don't know what that was. Like, I don't know if that was a flashover or... I don't think we're going to be able to get up here, right? Like, There we go. Did we get it? Is that it? Yes, that's it. We got it. It's under control. Wow. That was insane, guys. That, like... <laughs> the dynamics of the whole scene just changed in the blink of an eye. And I guess that's, like, really true to life. Like, things can go bad. Things can go sour really, really fast. And they did. And that kind of blows me away for a game that, like... We were fine, and then we weren't. You know? Now, of course, it didn't work out because we didn't have Rit available to, uh, to rescue us. I wish... Like, I, gosh, I don't know how I could... I mean, we could have waited. I guess we could have waited till a ladder to get there, but I kind of look at it. Not all fire departments have that luxury, you know? I don't know how the different ways we could have approached that. I mean, I guess there are probably multiple ways we could have approached that. We could have waited. Uh, even waiting, we're still only single player. So it, once again, it goes back to that whole thing where you're having to... Uh, and you're having to fight the fire within the com confines of the game and the gameplay. You know, so, I mean, ideally, we could have got a ladder here. We could have had a RIT team, and if I went down after things went south inside the house, then I would have been rescued. Uh, of course, if it was multiplayer, it would have been a whole different scenario as well, too. So, I mean, it could have played out a lot of different ways. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, you know the routine. Please be sure to hit that like, subscribe. Ring that bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, how uh, how the dynamics of the fire change inside the house because that was really, really cool. Love all you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And with all that said, we will catch you in Canton County next time. Peace.